All right, it's Dr. Paul Feuerstein, Technology Editor of Dentistry Today. How is everybody today? I'm here with my good friend Dan. Dan, how have you been? Dr. Paul, thanks for coming. Great. Dan is with Bieniak Corporation, a great Swiss manufacturer of dental hand pieces, and as usual, they keep upgrading and changing things and giving me new innovations in this whole electrical handpiece uh, scenario. And so what I have in my hands here is something new called the Evo 15. It's a new uh, contra angle that goes on to that very, very nice MCX, small, lightweight, balanceable handpiece, and a new control box. So I'm going to pass it over to you, Dan, and give me a hint on what's the difference between the Evo 15 and what's been going on here before. Uh, there's a couple of innovations with the contra angle line Evo 15, the most important being the ceramic push button. Uh, safety is sort of the concept we're going with here. Is the ceramic like a heat shield? Absolutely. And so this is the only handpiece tested not to elevate above human body temperature during operation. It's the safest one currently available. And it's connected to our MCX motor system. It's really small. It's compact and powerful. And uh, we, the concept with the MCX motor system is simplicity of connection and simplicity of operation. It can connect any dental unit, uh, just any four-hole tubing, any dental unit with a standard four-hole tubing will oh. connect right to the back coupling here. So it's a, it's a modular system, you can order it, you can install it very quickly and easily. And then also the simplicity of operation, there is a very nice uh, dial here, which allows the user to turn it from high speed and low speed, all with the same attachment. Just one button, just one, one dial? One button, one attachment, one system. What's the little button? The, this is a reverse, oh. motor rotation reverse. All right, which I rarely use anyway. Yeah, so, it's so a nice feature. A, a, an electrical handpiece with one button, one dial, that's yep. the whole thing. Yep. Tell me a little bit more about the ceramic here. So you talk about heat. I know that for years we've been worried that if you're holding, if you're doing, say, the buckle of an upper tooth, it's up against the cheek, the thing overheats, you can actually burn a patient. This, this is the reason to switch to electric technology now, because we're finally at a point where we have eliminated all of the, the sort of dangers. And what was happening is sometimes they would retract the cheek in the back right, of the exactly. mouth. It would depress the push button, oh, it would contact the rotating oh, chuck. Oh, so it would go into friction with it. Right, so now we have a ceramic ball bearing that's behind the, the chuck. Oh, and I then see. a shielded ceramic plate. But you've already had it, you've already had a little, sort of a little release in there anyway, because it's not it wasn't rigid, if I recall. Yeah, and uh, previously we had a stainless steel ball, oh, which I was see. sort of oh, doing I the see. same thing, but this dissipating won't heat the all. heat. This is eliminating the heat. Boy, that's that's that's. So even when it's running, you can push the push button. Oh, I see. And so it you have to really depress it to get rid of the. Uh, to get yeah, rid exactly. Of the I see. And let's go back to the controller. First of all, I think that's what's kind of neat is I'm looking at multi-colors here. So yeah. I can have a color-coordinated office with, with these things? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we want to give <laughs> the user a selection. So it's uh, very simple and it's also customizable. You can install it. It comes with a bracket. You can install it under the dental unit or on either side. Uh, we really give the, the choice to the end user. That's, that's, this is great. I mean, I got a cool looking thing. I got a physically cool running thing here. <laughs> yeah. So Dan, this is this is really totally interesting. And I have one Sad last question. Stuff. As as I've been looking at this, the handpiece looks a little different. Is is it a different material also? The whole handpiece is made out of? Yeah. Well, I think what you're noticing is we've uh, moved materials for the head. Previously, we were, everybody's using brass. Every everybody's still at brass. Uh -huh. We've uh, innovated by introducing a stainless steel head, and it makes it very impact resistant. I see. So you're not going to get little dings all over it. Yeah, but, yeah. it's durability. When, when when you or your assistant might drop it on the floor. Absolutely. <laughs> not pointing uh, any fingers. But. And so, if we want to get more information, is, I assume there's a website from BNA. I hope yeah, it's a for more one. information, please <laughs> go to our website www.bnair.com. Dan, it's always a pleasure. Dr. Thanks Paul, so thanks. much. We appreciate you. Hey, great. Thanks so much. Thank you.